3 am session for the other batch of students this is first session for you guys it generally starts around 30 days before the exam the last month the last most crucial month so first of all a very good morning to all the mad students aapki family bol rahi hogi ki aap bhi pagal ho teacher bhi pagal hai teen baje subah uth ke padha rahe you know uh, before i start 3 am session i tell you why what was the reason behind this and why all of a sudden uh, like i myself have gone through this 3 am session this has worked for me i tell you a story uh, it was graduation second year graduation second year uh, like you know the students are not serious for the classes and they hang around college they hardly go to the classroom so me one of my best friend and uh, we would avoid classes we would you know just waste time in the garden in the library at uh, that time uh, there was no internet so we used to play cricket or maybe we were you know in the gardens so i would always ask my friend that uh, let's start preparation let's start preparation exam is approaching 3 months left so he would say that what is the need of preparation for 3 months we will read just before one month month one month so uh, and i used to trust him so i was like okay if he is not studying what will i do and i was also in ncc i was also a football player so uh, i also used to avoid this that okay so you know uh, time kept on passing i would ask him let's do it let's do it brother exam is approaching exam is approaching but he would always say we will do it we will do it don't worry we will do it now approx around you know 35 40 days were left for the exam and uh, again i asked him that let's do it he said no to why are you so scared don't worry we will do it in the last month so that day my mother was scolding me my mother was asking me to prepare and not to uh, take it lightly so my mother when she was scolding me by chance the younger brother of my best friend he was 10 years old 10 11 years old he came so my mother asked him my mother said that your brother doesn't study and he doesn't start uh, let my son study so my mother uh, started scolding him that your brother and he doesn't they, they won't, don't study so that young kid the small kid he said no my brother studies at 4 am i couldn't believe it i was like what he is telling me i'll start i'll start and he was doing it for him and i was you know answerless speechless in front of my mother so chote bhai ne bola ki wo to subah 4 baje se padhta hai i didn't trust no i got you know somewhere kind of you know uh, hurt because if he was my best friend i didn't trust it next morning i woke up at 4 am just to check if he is actually studying or not i woke up at 4 am it was winter's time i wrapped myself with a blanket and i went out and uh, like we would live in the same neighborhood so i walked to his house and there i found through the windows that he was studying at 4 am so for me it was trust breaking you know dhoka cheating so uh, first feeling was like that i will knock the gate that you cheated then said i felt no i will not knock the gate i just saw that i came back 6 am in the morning we had a football session so he came to my house and i asked him that when do we have to start preparation he said we will do it don't worry i said aren't you studying he said no why would i study i am not scared like you i was like okay so that you know bitching thing and irritating thing that gave me a lot of tension that i am not prepared he is not letting me study but he is actually studying he is actually doing it next day i decided that i have to beat him at any cost if he has done this cheating i will beat him i decided that you are getting at 4 am i will get up at 2 am i started getting up at 2 for few days 5 to 7 days my eyes my brain it all you know got tortured 
but then i got a habit getting up at 2 reading just by 6 and by 6 i would also switch off my lights he would come i would say oh let's go to play football and i also said that yes last me padhega i'll study with you in the last then by 2 am i switched to 1 am i would sleep by 8:30 in the drawing room i would get up by 1 1 to 6 i would study from here i got a habit of getting up early morning i got 64% in my graduation second year he got around 47 48% and he you know he came to me he said you are cheating me you are already studying i was like acha you were cheating me so from there i got the habit that if you have to beat the champions get up one or two hours prior to those champions so while people are getting up at 4 am we will get up at 3 am now this was my story so that you know what was the reason behind uh, 3 am classes i got a habit of getting up early and this gives me psychological advance while others will get up at 4 we will be getting up at 3 3 to 7 go for complete revision now take your pen and paper come on take your pen and paper we going to discuss questions which have been asked in previous years exams and are not directly taught in the classes because they do not fall in any direct syllabus so take your pen and paper this is a special class and i'm giving you a lot of important details see my own old registers i'm going to use it for you so just write down these things the very first thing translation theory those who are for paper 1 students this time we will do paper 1 classes also 3 am session paper 1 what the title translation theory so first of all how many of you know that translation transliteration and transcreation these are the things which are you know very very different things most of the students don't know that in literature it is not actually a translation in literature it is transcreation or transliteration you learn something you understand the meaning you recreate the meaning for example dev narayan told me that uh, in kerala it's raining early morning i love rain so may, suppose he says something to me in malayalam he talks about early morning rain in malayalam i feel, felt it i have understood it i have uh, got those emotions now if i translate it in my language i will translate those emotions not the word to word narration word to word narration translated actually kills the sense so transliteration transcreation transliteration is language theme translated in different language transcreation you got the theme you recreated another story that is transcreation so in transcreation you get the theme and recreate it now here we have a theory write about this thing interpretive theory of translation interpretive theory of translation here the theory has been coined by please write this thing i'll read it for you the theory has been coined by danica d a n i c a danica selskovich danica selskovich d a n i c a s e l e s k o v i t c h repeating again danica d a n i c a danica sales s e l e s k o v i t c h so she is the one she says that translation is not only a linguistic study it is not only language being merely transcoded into another it is a process so that's what i have told you it's not a linguistic process that language got translated into language it's actually a process where the theme the message actually gets transferred so this has been asked in 2018's exam translation theory I already have given lectures to you on translation there I have also talked about equivalence of translation now we go for the second important question the famous work a change of world a change of world that has been written by Adrian Rich A D R I W N E R I C H Adrian Rich a change of world this world was praised by W H Auden W H Auden praised a change of world written by Adrian Rich inko sabko note karte jana you can watch it later also but i suggest you write it down so that 
when the session is finished you revise it two times and trust me my friends trust me if you don't have any duty no job at all you don't have to go to market then don't sleep don't sleep you would see that there is a change in you what is the benefit of 3m session it cannot be explained in words it can be felt so someone who is you know watching it 103 students right now 103 i'm sure your parents will say your teacher is mad but when your parents say your teacher is mad then say that's why he has 8 net double jrf and 9th net in this next exam i'll qualify that then second famous work that you have to remember here is we have a writer david lodge 99% people don't study about david lodge write down that thing david lodge it's very important david lodge actually deals with the campus literature campus kind of literature what is campus literature campus literature is stories related to college life studies schools love stories like that one of the famous writer rex warner rex warner has written this thing the oxford love story so oxford love story by rex warner it is also a campus novel and lords uh, the famous character uh, david lodge he is founder figure of campus novel one of his famous work is london museum is falling down please write this thing london museum is falling down it is actually story of a scholar who is doing phd london museum is falling down story of a scholar who is doing phd his wife is pregnant he already has two or three kids and his wife is pregnant again so while doing phd research in the library he is having thoughts about future about life about his wife about his kids so you know the present day condition when you are in phd that is the time you are also getting married that is the time you are also you know uh, uh you know ha having kids if you are married you know so a phd student cannot focus only on phd he is mature enough she is mature enough to think about other things the life goes parallel right so that's the thing you have to remember this the famous work that he has written apart from london museum is falling down changing places changing places it has a subtitle a tale of two campuses a tale of two campuses this has been asked in exam the next thing that you have to remember is his famous work out of the shelter out of the shelter was nominated for booker award by david lodge the next one we have to see is the famous writer now that you know just make stars because they are random questions and exclusive questions so make stars okay michel halliday m i c h a e l michel halliday h a w l i d a y so he is an australian writer born in britain the famous thing he is famous for michel halliday developed the concept of s f l there was a question the s f l concept is associated to so please write this thing michel halliday h a w l i d a y michel halliday connected to s f l which deals with language it's a linguistic approach please write this thing it's a linguistic approach it deals with language as a social semiotic system uh brother upsc classes are already going on if you are joined if you have joined you must have received lectures yesterday if you are not uh, you know the part of the batch then join it you will get zoom session today sfl systematic functional linguistics systematic functional linguistic was theory a theory propounded by him so make sure you don't forget this thing now the make a star and go for the next question there is a line this line was asked in exam as it is so let's see uh, this line uh, what are the points in this line i begin with a desire to speak with the dead write it i begin with a desire to speak with the dead one of the most striking opening lines written by i begin with the desire to speak with the dead it is by shakespearean it is by stephen grant greenblatt the new historian stephen greenblatt stephen greenblatt the name of the book is shakespearean negotiation 
the lines are from shakespearean negotiation 1988 one of the most striking opening lines so don't forget this it's very very important it has been asked in exam you know sometimes the student get confused that what has been asked in exam the next one we have to go for is the famous writer the one who has written house of mirth and the age of innocence one of the first writer to win pulitzer award the house of mirth and the age of innocence the writer is edith wharton edith wharton now let's go for the details see this thing age of innocence is 1921 pulitzer award first novel written by a woman to win the prize the story is set in upper class new york city in 1870 upper class new york city of 1870 is where the timing of racial racial issues was already going on one of the first book to win pulitzer award written by a woman this is very important so don't forget this edith wharton age of innocence inke chote chote notes khud banao abhi banao zyada effective hai why i'm not elaborating because this is 3 am session every minute is uh, very important and if you remember my uh, ideas of preparation i would always tell you that i would always told uh, that you know early morning sessions are to be mugged up so somewhere when i'm revising it with you it's a kind of revision for me too we we'll also go for evening sessions we have to go for rapid fire sessions then go for next one <coughs> there is a writer pablo neruda edith wharton edith w h a r t o edith wharton famous work age of innocence now see this thing the next writer we have is pablo neruda he is a nobel award in 1971 one of his famous work was asked in exam and most of the students were not knowing it because pablo neruda generally doesn't come any direct literary genre they are all post moderns but when we study all the post moderns so technically there are you know hundreds of post moderns you cannot read every one so in that case pablo neruda is mostly avoided but you are my students you don't have to avoid it pablo neruda's famous work 20 love poems and a song of despair 20 love poems and a song of despair he is from chile which country chile country so pablo neruda 20 <coughs> pablo neruda 20 love poems and a song of despair 1924 do you know pablo neruda had a habit of writing in green ink just like we have a blue pen red pen he used to write with green pen only green ink only so write down this thing that pablo neruda was a surrealist writer he had a habit of writing in green ink only sirf hari se hi se likhta tha that's very important point one of his famous work is world's end one of his famous work is world's end baaki iski aur detail mere paas but we don't have to go for it because you know if one question is asked in exam i read all the details so i have one page details for this thing then go for go for next one the famous ex, uh, work anna of five towns anna of five towns i have taught this in online classes also offline online mein padhaya hai maine this has been asked anna of five towns i'll also tell you the question so anna of five towns has been written by arnold bennett the famous writer of old wives tale it has been written by arnold bennett the famous writer of old wives tale now see this thing five town is a famous imaginary place arnold bennett has used multiple uh, settings related to five towns so people know about thomas hardy wessex people know about william faulkner yokna patwa people know about you know uh, <coughs> the uh, the famous writer lawrence his famous work manavaka manavaka settings so they know these kind of settings right but what if they ask you that the five towns is an imaginary setting of a modern writer then it is bennett arnold bennett so make sure you remember that and the writer that i have took the reference of manavaka novels 
that is some lawrence i'm missing the name that's australian writer where she has written the angels uh, stone angel i think it's margaret lawrence so make sure you uh, don't forget this that's very very important thing then there are some subtitles the subtitles what is the subtitle of under the greenwood tree who can answer without google question of net exam 2019 under the greenwood tree what is the subtitle match the following matter what is the subtitle the greenwood tree okay i'll tell you a rural painting of the dutch school 1872 a rural painting of the dutch school 1872 the first title of under the greenwood tree was melstock choir m e l l s t o c k melstock choir q u i r that was the first title and the title was taken from as you like it so that melstock choir was also taken from as you like it so make sure you remember that what was the first title what is the subtitle a rural painting of the dutch school the very important point the next one the very important question is <coughs> who has written the sequel to cry the beloved country so first of all you have to see that that cry the beloved country has been written by alan patton alan patton deals with uh, racial issues african issues cry the beloved country is very important thing and then here you have to you have to see this this is the famous work the origin of the family written by frederick angel frederick angel origin of the family he also wrote save the beloved country save the beloved country it is called sequel to cry the beloved country so frederick angel is there his marxist writer save the beloved country that is a sequel then we have to see this thing the famous writer of methodological anti positivism question was that name the writer associated with methodological anti positivism you remember my lecture of last uh, culture studies lecture where i talked about that everything is not positive we must think take things in negative shade also we must look at the negative side also you know when people say that don't be negative see you must understand what is negative yes you don't have to be negative but you must know both sides because if you don't know negative if you don't think negative and i ask you to jump in a well i ask you acha theek hai kuwe mein kood jao so if you don't know the negative side you will be like oh so positive sir is asking me to jump from a cliff from in the well so i must jump because i'll find diamonds i'm always positive no you must know the negative sides also if you do not know the bad sides you won't be able to value the good sides anti positivism methodological anti positivism supported by cultural critic max weber yes neha bahut badhiya answer sabash max weber so that's the point and yes here you have to remember this point also that you know anti positivism that actually becomes a shade where people go and explore it it has always been neglected the father of positivism was august comte he believed that it is the only way to live and survive you have to be positive you have to move on you have to think about future jo chala gaya wo chala gaya that's the life see positive approach made aeroplane negative approach made parachute what was the need of parachutes what was the need of uh, water jackets life jackets if nobody thought negative people think and that's why both sides are important otherwise we would never have parachutes someone thought that what if aeroplane has emergency and people have to jump so that's the point right hope you understood go for next one <clears throat> the magazine question the famous magazine egoist the famous magazine egoist i think ye aapko aata hoga that's not very tough the famous magazine egoist was started by so first thing it was started by harriet shaw weaver 
Harriet Shaw Weaver. First name was New Free Woman. No, no, it's not T.S. Eliot. It is special. That's why it is in it. T.S. Eliot wala sabko aata hai. Harriet Shaw Weaver. And the first title of the magazine was The New Free Woman. Remember this thing? Later, T.S. Eliot and James Joyce, they all became members of this thing. This book, this magazine was started by Harriet Shaw Weaver, first, you know, uh, owner. After that, Dora Marsden. The second owner was Dora, Dora Marsden, M-A-R-S-D-O-N. Please remember this, don't forget this. Now, this is a line that has been asked. Give me exam and let me examine the line, a famous line. I have not published a single paper that is not written in a spirit of benevolence and with love of mankind. Repeating again, I have not published a single paper that is not written in a spirit of benevolence and with a love of mankind. The lines were spoken by Joseph Edition. The famous writer who gave heights to modern day English language. So Joseph Edison, very important. Uh, I have a habit of collecting net questions in my notebooks. And I don't go in order. I just go for the questions which were randomly asked. I had no idea at that time. So I select those lectures. I don't take all the questions. Because then I already have solved paper. I know those answers. I go for special questions which were not known to me at that time being some double chair. Okay. So that was a, like that's like a challenge to me. So that's why I go for it. Now see this. Thing. In which book we have the theme. Beast is actually the devil inside the boys. If you remember my lecture and the last lines of my lecture, you will answer. Beast is actually the devil inside the boys. It is realized by kids at the end of the story. Some kids dropped in an island, fight for uh, control. One kid had a conch shell. Bahut badia, Ashish, bahut badia. Bahut badia. Yes, Lord of the Flies. Ralph, Simon, they all are there. It is Simon who realizes this. Simon, the one who represents Christ, Simon realizes this, that beast is inside, it's not outside. The next one, the famous work, first of all, tell me this thing, the character Heathcliff. How many of you remember Heathcliff is connected to Sunil Shetty? Have you watched Bollywood movie Dil Jale? No, not Dil Jale. Uh, what was that? Dilwale. Uh, 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 uh. Dharkan, Dharkan. <coughs> you must have watched Dharkan, right? Sunil Shetty says, uh, I'm poor. The girl doesn't marry because he was poor. So he goes and returns with a lot of money and takes revenge from the girl. Kind of Indian Wuthering Heights. Yes, many of you have written Wuthering Heights. Heathcliff is one of the finest example of Byronic hero and I'm sure you know Byronic hero. Please note it down. It's very very important The question of net exam is net doesn't ask easy questions that okay Heathcliff is Byronic hero Heathcliff is from Wuthering Heights. Okay, you qualified. No The question will be like this See the questions Heathcliff and the great hunger Is written by Heathcliff and the Great Hunger, 1995, written by Heathcliff and the Great Hunger. The famous writer Terry Eagleton, please write it. Terry, T E W R Y, Eagleton, E A G L E T O N. Terry Eagleton wrote this, and now I'll tell you two lines related to it. So uh, try to write it. In case you miss it, you can watch again. This deals with Irish culture from Swift. Jonathan Swift to Edmund Burke to W.B. Eats and James Joyce. And here it deals with socio-political history of Irish literature. 
वाओ द बुक कंपेयर्स वुदरिंग हाइट्स विद फेमाइन इन आयरलैंड हाईलाइटिंग द आयरिश कनेक्शन ऑफ द ब्रॉन्टे फैमिली ब्रॉन्टे फैमिली इज पर्सनल कनेक्शन विद आयरलैंड कंडीशन ऑफ हीद क्लिप ड्यूरिंग द ग्रेट फेमाइन आयरिश रेफरेंसेज आयरिश कल्चर राइटर्स फ्रॉम जोनाथन स्विफ्ट एडमंड बर्क डब्ल्यू बी एड्स एंड अदर राइटर्स जेम्स जॉइस इट्स अ प्रॉपर स्टडी हीद क्लिफ एंड द ग्रेट हंगर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव टेरी एगल्टिन नो बट इज गोइंग टू रीड दीज थिंग्स यू हैव टू बी प्रिपेयर ये क्वेश्चन है नेट के तुम जरूर पढ़ के जा रहे हो ऐसा ना हो कि तु, तुम भी नहीं पढ़ के जा रहे हो कोई और भी नहीं पढ़ रहा तुम भी नहीं पढ़ रहे हो न गो फॉर नेक्स्ट वन हरी कथा ट्रेडिशन हैज बिन यूज इन इंडियन बुक ये तो आपको आता होगा हरी कथा आई एम नॉट आस्किंग एक्चुअली इंडियन आई आई एम ट्राइंग टू गिव यू टफेस्ट क्वेश्चन सो दैट यू आर प्रिपेयर हरी कथा ट्रेडिशन इफ यू रिमेम्बर कांथा बुरा राइट लाइन्स फेमस लाइन्स यू मस्ट बी नोइंग चलो आई आस्क यू दिस थिंग दिस इज द क्वेश्चन From it is from archetype myths, myth criticism. Name the famous writer who associated the cycle of seasons with myths: spring, summer, autumn, winter. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Autumn, winter. Name the writer who associated these seasons to myths, emotions of literature. किसने एक cycle बनाया था? कि जैसी जैसी कहानियां होती हैं उनके अकॉर्डिंग सीजन्स होते हैं रिमेम्बर मिथ्स टेल मी हो रिमेम्बर सेट हाँ मलिक ये पढ़ाया है मैंने दैट्स वाई आई स्माइल नॉर्थ ऑफ फ्राई येस यू नो ट्रेजिडी है तो विंटर कर दिया सेपरेशन ट्रेजिडी है ब्लड शेड ट्रेजिडी है ऑटम कर दिया लव स्टोरी है तो उन्होंने स्प्रिंग uh, दिखा दिया जैसे हमारे इंडियन बॉलीवुड सॉन्ग्स हैं सो ऑल द हैप्पी सॉन्ग्स ऑल द लव सॉन्ग्स दे डील विद द सीजन ऑफ स्प्रिंग सो दिस इज हाउ द यू नो सीजन आर कनेक्टेड नाउ राइट दिस थिंग दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हु हैज रिटन हिस्ट्री ऑफ सेक्सुअलिटी सो वी ऑल नो राइट वी ऑल नो राइट दिस थिंग इट्स मिशल फूको मिशल फूको द वन हु टॉक्स अबाउट द आइडिया ऑफ CCTV Bentham propounded that that Bentham's theory of CCTV developed by Foucault and others so see Michel Foucault he has written an history of sexuality now see the details you have to see the details the book has been divided in three parts write down this thing history of sexuality the book has been divided in three parts the first is the will to knowledge 1976 the will to knowledge 1976 the use of pleasure and third is the care of the self the use of pleasure and the care of the self both are 1984 in two parts so totally two publications three parts make sure you remember that don't forget this is very very important because the concept of repressive hypothesis that appears in the first book सो एक्चुअली द क्वेश्चन था वही यही था कि रिप्रेसिव हाइपोथेसिस कॉन्सेप्ट कहाँ पे आता है इसको मैंने ईजी बना के पूछा कि हिस्ट्री ऑफ सेक्सुअलिटी किसने लिखा है रिप्रेसिव हाइपोथेसिस इन द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ सेक्सुअलिटी अपेयर्स द वेल टू नॉलेज और थर्ड इज द केयर ऑफ द सेल्फ थर्ड इज द केयर ऑफ द सेल्फ नहीं शहजादी अभी पेपर वन आज नहीं है इट्स एक्चुअली फॉर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर फर्स्ट पेपर वन के लिए आई हैव टू टेक माय ओल्ड नोटबुक्स विद स्पेशल क्वेश्चंस ऑफ पेपर वन एंड दैट इज इन दिल्ली एक्चुअली सो आई विल रीच दिल्ली इन टू डेज आई एम नॉट इन दिल्ली एंड फॉर इंग्लिश आई जनरली कैरी माय बुक्स तीन चार किताबें मैं हमेशा घर लेके आता हूँ पढ़ने के लिए बट येस ऑल दोज यू आर वॉचिंग इथ पेपर वन के लिए देर इज अ बुक आई हैव रिटन सिंगेज पब्लिकेशन ये बुक मंगा लो क्योंकि उसमें भी यही है डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन डायरेक्ट एग्जाम ओरिएंटेड क्वेश्चन है नाउ गो फॉर नेक्स्ट वन 
Art of Fiction by Henry James. Art of Fiction by Henry James. See, the uh, the first thing that you have to remember is that it is a literary criticism and has been called partial portraits. So it can be a question. Art of Fiction, Henry James. Henry James was a settled writer, a famous writer. He has written Wings of Dove. He has written Daisy Miller. Uh, he has written The Portrait of the Lady. He has written Bostonians, Ambassadors, uh, the the Screw, some Taming Screw, something like that. There is a work. So he has written a lot. Henry James was a famous writer. And then he has written Art of Fiction, which was called Partial Portraits. It's a literary criticism book. Now see this thing. This book has been praised and restudied by Walter Besant. The book has been praised and restudied by Walter Besant. B E S A N T. The next one. The term continuous presence. Yes, Neha, thank you. Would I, you know, I also have to recall things. The continuous presence is a term used by continuous presence. So what did they do instead of asking a direct question? Stream of consciousness, just like William James has coined the concept of stream of consciousness, first used by George Eliot without knowing it. She didn't know what she's doing in stream of consciousness. Then James Joyce, then Virginia Woolf and many others. So while talking about stream of consciousness, someone coined the term continuous presence. I bet this 99% students don't know. And that's what you have to understand. You're my students. Make me proud. Continuous presence is a term coined by Gertrude Stein. Please note it down. Continuous presence is a term by coined by Gertrude Stein, S-T-E-I-N, Gertrude Stein, for the stream of consciousness. So it will be an amazing question. It will be a very good question. Question will be, that stream of consciousness has been called something else by Gertrude Stein. Continuous presence. That past image is always present in our mind. Gertrude, uh, Gertrude Stein is the one who has talked about the lost generation concept. Yes, very good. Kush, Kush ne, baut badia likha hua hai. The famous work, The Political Imagination, the famous work, The Political Imagination, a personal response to life, literature, and politics. The Political Imagination, a personal response to life, literature, and politics. That has been written by Nayantara Sehgal. Nayantara Sehgal, just remember that. It's a very important thing. Then the next book, which was a non-fiction book in exam. Net exam in non-fiction bhi aata hai. The last time, last to last, the non-fiction, which was question, which was asked, was not just an accountant has been written by. Not just an accountant. Sirf ek accountant nahi. It is by Vinod Rai. He was the Auditor General of CAG, CAG. So CAG's Auditor General, Vinod Rai, he wrote, not just an accountant. I am not just an accountant. I am not an accountant. So enough for the session today. 40 minutes ho gaye Now see, if you sleep after this session, well, not a problem. It's human body. I also have to drive 7.30 a.m. I have to see my friend is hospitalized in Sri Ganganagar. So I'll be driving for approximately 60-70 kilometers. So I'll also go and take a nap. But I'm qualified. I'm qualified. I have done my battle. I have fought my battle. Do not give up. Just feel the difference. Now what do you do? Just do stretching. Wash your face once again after this session. If possible, go to the roof, see the stars, see the moon, ask yourself what are you doing, what is your goal, and come back to study. Come back to study. Because you know, this one month, 
can change your life forever i have changed my life once i fought now i'm enjoying so that's you you have to do the same do not sleep sona nahi hai ab mat so jana dopahar mein lo power nap i don't mind you want to take power nap in afternoon take it take 2 hours power nap but 3 to 7 this morning session this you know uh, it is said brahma muhurt swati nakshatra ki bond girti hai kehte hain insaan pe gir jaye to wo vidwan ban jata hai saap pe gir jaye to mani ban jati hai sarpani aur agar samundra mein gire to moti ban jata hai that is the time it is said that the drop of a celestial star swati nakshatra swati star the water drop that falls on earth if it falls on you you become greatest scholar if it falls on a snake it becomes a nag mani a diamond related to snake it falls on ocean in ocean it will become a pearl work hard don't sleep and yes a message to this is the first 3m sessions it went a public session after that it will all be private sessions so those who are willing to be the part of it simply contact the office 8587035827 so tomorrow 3am session with a lot of other questions i didn't pick my second copy just one copy and i have hundreds of questions asked in net and said which troubled me so they won't trouble you i prepared those things let's go for jrf thank you